Israeli agent Jonathan Pollard is suing the state of Israel. Shalom to attorney Nitzana Darshan Leitner, chairman of the Shurat Hadin Justice Organization. Hi, how are you doing? Today you petitioned in a Tel Aviv court requesting that the state declare that Jonathan never received any financial assistance from the state since he was arrested until today. What is the purpose of this petition? We're trying to stop the campaign of lies that the uh, government launched against Jonathan Pollard. We're trying to ask the court to come and declare that Jonathan actually did not receive a penny from the government of Israel, from the state of Israel. That despite all the lies that the uh, Israeli government spreads all over, um, Jonathan Pollard did not get assistance from the Israeli government. The Israeli government does not help Jonathan Pollard. The uh, purpose of the lawsuit is to uh, uh, prove to the public that the state of Israel, despite what it says, does not make any effort to release Pollard. And therefore, we need the assistance of the public to uh, try to help to get him out. There's a claim that the state is actually lying to the public regarding Pollard and its treatment of his case. Is that true? And if so, why is the state acting this way? I think the state wants to cover its ass. Um, I think that the uh, state would like to uh, show that it's acting on Pollard's behalf, whereas she is not. Um, if, if, if the state would stop lying and taking real action uh, to release Pollard, we uh, would have been in a much better situation, but the state's uh, default, she's not doing it. In the petition, you state that Pollard and his wife Esther have been neglected by Israel. How is that the case? For 23 years, the uh, state of Israel did not make efforts to release Pollard. We know that in the beginning, the, uh, uh, the state of Israel was the one who sent callers to the FBI cars in the embassy in Washington. We know that the state of Israel gave the uh, uh, American investigators the clue that uh, put Pollard in prison forever. We know that they provided them with the documents that Pollard provided the state of Israel with his fingerprints on them and due to them and only due to them they, the American uh, authority were able to uh, uh, trial Jonathan and give him a harsh punishment. And we know that during all the years there have been no effort to release him. Now the government comes and lies about these efforts. And to set an example, they say the same way we support him financially, we are doing and acting on his behalf to release him, which is untrue. This week Pollard is marking, we can't say celebrating, his 54th birthday and he's still in prison. Do you actually think he could have been out by now if the state of Israel had acted differently in his case? Absolutely. Absolutely. If the state would have uh, find it's a priority to release Pollard, I think he would have been out a long time ago. I also believe that the state of Israel has to come through and to apologize to the American authorities and to admit, maybe for the first time, that the Pollard operation was not a wrong operation, that it was an operation that was approved by the highest rank in the Israeli government, that everybody knew about Pollard, everybody knew what he did, including the prime ministers and all the rest of the ministers and the uh, heads of the IDF, and therefore Israel was behind this operation. Uh, so far we know that Israel lied concerning that. Israel claimed that it was a rogue operation where it was not. And if Israel comes now for the first time and admits to the American uh, authorities that they all knew about Pollard and Pollard was approved by them, I believe the American government will finally let him free. Attorney Nitsana Darshan Leitner, Shurat Adin, thank you very much for joining and enlightening us. 
Thank you.